Hey everybody, I'm Team here with a diesel barrel aid smokedown, and you're watching Cigars Daily. In this video, we're gonna take these two diesel barrel aged cigars head to head to see which one can truly provide more amazing premium cigar value. But I'll tell you up front, what you're gonna get here is my opinion about these things. So if you've had the diesel whiskey row barrel aged cigar or the whiskey row sherry cast from diesel, drop a comment down below with what you think of them because we'll all learn better when we learn together. And check this video out on cigarsdailyplus.com where we're always working to make better on Cigars Daily Plus. Barrel aging is such a cool process where cigar makers are going to take some of their leaves, put them into a barrel like this one right here, and then give them a second fermentation. Surprisingly, barrel aging is not about adding or infusing flavor of whiskey to these cigars, which maybe it sort of should have been because that sounds super awesome. Instead, it's about providing more smoothness to each blend that comes out of a barrel because they get another fermentation where even more imperfection are removed from the leaves. And so today we'll look at these two diesel blends. Both of them are barrel aged. They're both barrel aged in rabbit hole bourbon or rabbit hole barrels. One of them, the whiskey barrel, the other one, the sherry cask. And the best question that we're going to answer today is which of these two can truly provide more value, more flavor, and a better overall experience. Our first contender today is the original diesel whiskey row bourbon barrel aged cigar. This thing is a five and a half by 50 Robusto that uses an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. It's got a Mexican San Andreas binder underneath. That is the leaf that has been aged in a bourbon barrel and then fillers from three different growing regions in Nicaragua. Now this bad boy right here clocks in at about $7.80 per stick, making it a little higher than I think what most people would consider your daily smoke level, or maybe for you, it is sort of that daily smoke price point. But this thing is supposed to give you all of the best parts of that barrel aged experience without a higher price. And the opponent today is the Diesel Whiskey Row Sherry Cask Robusto. This bad boy here is the much darker wrappered version of the original with a lot of differences actually. First of all, this one, as the name implies, is aged in sherry casks rather than bourbon barrels. And this thing has got almost a completely different blend to it. The wrapper leaf on the outside is a Connecticut broadleaf with a Brazilian binder leaf in, underneath. And again, that, that binder leaf is the one that's actually aged in a sherry cask, along with fillers that are from Nicaragua. And this one has got to hold out its own in a big way because its shelf price is almost a dollar more for this 5x50 Robusto, sitting it right at $8. $8.69 for the MSRP. And now these two are going to duke it out in three different arenas. We'll look at presentation, construction, and flavor to see which one can you provide the best value to you. And so with no further ado, let's jump right in. Now, when it comes to presentation, these two sticks are similar in a lot of ways. They have the same size and shape of cigar ring on them, even the same branding and badges. They both have these big fat footbands on the bottom, which is a huge plus for me. I like a footband on a cigar because it can protect that wrapper leaf from cracking if the cigar is dropped, and it can crack the wrapper if it drops even just 12 to 18 inches at the right angle. So a footband like this is gonna stop that from happening as much, and I'm always a fan whenever I see it done anywhere. But now we got to look at the actual elements of presentation. The first one being the wrapper leaf. Now these two have totally different leaves on the outside. This is Ecuadorian Habano. This one is the Connecticut Broadleaf. And there are a few things to me that are like telltale signs of an awesome cigar, an amazing wrapper leaf that's gonna lead to great flavor and a good experience. One of those items is toothiness. Little bumps all over the outside of the wrapper leaf that are homes for flavor to jump out onto your tongue. It's amazing. And I would expect to see toothiness on like a Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper like the Sherry Cat but surprisingly, I see way more of it on the original Whiskey Row. This is a very toothy wrapper, while the sherry cask is not. This also has some more oils on it, a little bit more sheen, and it's a little bit softer to the touch, and for that reason, when it comes to the wrapper, the original Whiskey Row gets the point. 
And then we'll look at the actual cap on the top. These are both a great example of a very nice cap. It's a very deep cap as well. It would be really hard to cut one of these and then like cut it so deep that you'll have the whole thing unraveling because there's just so much cap all the way around the shoulder here. And both of these cigars have that. The difference comes in the application of that very deep cap. One of them is just applied a little bit more evenly, a little bit nicer looking, and that is, again, the original Diesel Whiskey Row, which I did not expect to be the case. It's really racking up points quicker than I thought it would. And then there's the banding on a cigar. I get this argument going all the time with people about, like, how important is a cigar ring? Some of you say that you don't care. It doesn't matter at all. I personally believe that people do buy with their eyes in a big way. For that reason, I look very closely at the branding, and even though these two have very very similar bands, they're the same size, they have the same badges on them, they're pretty much the same, in a, except for the color scheme. The sherry cask has got this really nice deep purple color that in my opinion goes a very, very well with the Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper. And on the original Whiskey Row, this really subdued blue on the wrapper, or on the actual cigar ring just doesn't do it for me. Every time I walk by, the cigar ring on this one jumps out and says, hey, I'm interesting, I'm different, smoke me and try it. So for that reason, that point does go to the sherry cask and the round overall goes to the original diesel whiskey row for some things that I consider to be probably more important to your actual experience than just the cigar band so for presentation the original whiskey road takes it Now we're going to talk about the draw, the burn, and the construction of these two cigars. And up front, I'll tell you, normally this is where I can talk about the ash and show you one cigar with an ash and one cigar without. Basically, that point goes to whichever one holds on to its ash for longer. But both of these have lost theirs at this point. I will tell you, though, both of them had a really straight, very long, very white ash that lasted through most of the first third, a sign that they are both equally well constructed. However, the sherry cask held onto its ash just a little bit longer and edged out that point right there. And then we'll talk about the draw. And this is actually where I came up with a draw on the point. These two have got a, like a little more resistance than what I really like for a draw on a cigar. It's just a little more work to pull smoke through these than I personally prefer. They're not plugged or anything like that. And I think it's a type of a, a little bit tighter draw that a lot of cigar smokers prefer. And some people prefer a little bit looser of a draw. I'm somewhere in between, I think. But both of these were equally a little bit tougher to draw on than I wanted. And so I called the draw point a draw. And then it comes to the burn. And this is where I actually was, again, very, very close. There was no major burn issues on either of these cigars. The best thing that I can point to is just the straightness of the burn. And again, the sherry cask has pulled it out. It's just a very nice, even straight burn on this cigar. While the regular Whiskey Row has had its ups and downs and it just burns at a little bit of a slant. So when it comes to construction, that sherry cask is just edged forward. And now we're at a tie. So it's time to talk about what we really care about, flavor. As I put these two side by side for the flavor comparison, I'm really surprised at what I got. They're a lot more similar than I expected. First of all, they both have got a very hearty flavor profile. There's smoothness about this flavor, but those notes are really robust. The original Whiskey Row has got really nice wood and nuts in there. It's a very earthy flavor with a subtle sweetness. While at the same time, the sherry cask is more chocolate and leather. It's a little bit more full bodied and has a really nice sort of of raisiny sweetness to that wrapper leaf. Now here is where we're gonna give these things points based on complexity, consistency, and sweetness from the wrapper. And we'll start by talking about consistency. That's a measure of how much flavor do you get immediately from light up. It doesn't take like an inch to smoke into the thing to taste really all that the flavor profile has to offer. And that's where the Whiskey Row has really shined. This medium bodied stick gave me so much more of the flavor right from light up than the actual sherry cask did that I have to give the point to the original Whiskey Row. But when it comes to complexity, it's a bit of a different story. Actually, the sherry cask is just a little more complex and robust of a flavor profile with a little bit more going on. The sweetness is definitely present. There's really nice flavor notes and a little bit darker. And I'm surprised that I'm actually enjoying the complexity of this flavor more than on the regular Whiskey Row. So sherry cask gets the point for that. 
and it also gets the point for wrapper sweetness. It is good to expect a cigar to have a natural sweetness to it, not like a sugary tip or anything like that. And this was a very subtle sweetness to the wrapper. There's a really nice flavor profile behind the original Whiskey Row, but the sherry cask has got lots of that really nice, sweet wrapper taste along with that robust fuller bodied flavor profile. So when it comes down to flavor, all in all, in the end, the sherry cask takes over and wins the end entire smoke down. This thing got the points for construction and it got the points for flavor. For me, that's an all around better experience. And for a cigar that's a dollar more than the original Whiskey Row, I think this one shows its value pretty dang well. But again, at the end of the day, what really matters here is what all of you guys think about this. So please do. First of all, check this video out on CigarsDailyPlus.com where you can leave your own comments and review and leave ratings right next to mine. Also drop your comments on what you think about these cigars. Have you had them? Or is there another barrel aged cigar that you absolutely love? Thank you all so much for following us here. Our family appreciates it so much. When you guys support Cigars Daily, it changes our entire lives. And so for, on behalf of the staff and everybody here, our gratitude goes out to you guys eternally. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Tim signing off for Cigars Daily, and I will see you in the comments.